Hi everybody, Rupert here, and this is the wrap-up for day number 12 in my 19 Ascendancies in 19 Days project. Today we're playing the Juggernaut, and I am running a Cyclone. Let me show you what we've got going on. I showed you in the halftime report that I've got a 5 link for my Blood Reaper. That's uh, for the Ancestral War Tree set up, and then the Cyclone is on this tab. It's lacking, of course, by not having... Um, any armor on the chest. Uh, getting armor and doubling it up is one of the good nodes on uh, Juggernaut. Although I only have two of the nodes in Juggernaut. Uh, I've got Unflinching and I was going to go for Unrelenting to leverage the uh, Endurance charges uh, that I was getting off Unflinching. Um, I really found that with the Cyclone build uh, Unstoppable is the way to go. Uh, it, uh, even with the 20% move speed boots, I was going negative 13 uh, move speed for a Cyclone. Why that is, I'm not sure how the math works on that, quite frankly. Uh, because Cyclone is only supposed to be 30% less move speed. I guess the less uh, multiplies and overrides some of the increased. Uh, I, I'd have to think about that a little longer. Anyway, it was negative 13, but with uh, Unstoppable, uh, it's it's straight zero. So I got some new boots uh, helped help me with resist a little bit. Uh, I just had a pair laying around. I've got a pair here that I plan to put on at 62, although honestly I don't think I'm going to make it. Um, so anyway, I, I meant to record the Lunaris Solar Spite for you. It might have been a little more interesting, but this is my first trip to uh, through the Blood Aqueduct. Since I lacked the perspicacity to hit record earlier, we're going to run through this here. I cannot do this yet. Oh, and interestingly enough, we've got a delirium mirror, so that'll spice things up a little bit. I've got pride uh, in just enough mana to run it now, that, um, but I don't have enough mana to drop my Ancestral War Chief. I can pretty much do everything else because I've got some uh, mana leech uh, going, and that'll sustain the Cyclone if, if I'm doing it while I'm actually hitting mobs. Um, but it's, uh, there's not enough in the cap. I think I have 34 available when I'm running Pride. Uh, so it's it's pretty close to being viable, but it's not quite there, so it's it's turned off. We've got Vitality going, and uh, War Banner, and uh, honestly, I'd have to look to see what the other one is. Because <laughs> I've forgotten. But uh, you see how this goes. Uh, imagine this 13% slower, and you, you'll you'll have what it was until just a moment ago. I ran my second lab right before uh, uh, the Lunaris Solaris fight, uh, which is usually where I squeak it in. Um, so I was actually cycling a lot slower. This feels a lot better. Um, I don't think I'll take this character much further. And this play style where I'm just kind of running over mobs uh, as, as I'm cycloning is pretty similar to the character I played yesterday. That was uh, the Righteous Fire Inquisitor. Um, but uh, this one doesn't scale with spell damage uh, the way that one does. And there's no way to really boost up the damage on this one uh, past uh, getting a better weapon, which I don't have great hope of in Solo Cell Found. I've got some currency, but I don't want to get into crafting too much for a one-day character. So, I'm just running this uh, Reaper, and uh, it's I've, I've kind of hit kind of a, a cap of fun. So, we're going to retire this one for the night and get back to it tomorrow. We'll run another one. Uh, don't forget... 100% of the gameplay for this series is available on my Twitch feed. The address is down below. Take a look. Come on by. I'd love to have you check in with me. And I uh, hope to see you. I appreciate you watching. In the meantime, until you see me again, this is Rupert, and I'm out.